Welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. As we continue our survey study of Scripture today, we're going to look at the book of Micah. This book, one of the 12 so-called minor prophets, is an incredible book about God exposing sin and overcoming sin. The Spirit of Yahweh works through Micah. It explicitly says in chapter 3, verse 8, that the Spirit of Yahweh empowers Micah, the prophet, to expose Israel's sin and also to foretell of the coming Messiah and God's plans for restoration. It really is an incredible book that pretty much breaks in half. The first three chapters, you get the prophet exposing the sin of the people. It starts by exposing Israel's sin, then it exposes the sin of Israel's oppressors, and then it speaks specifically to the sin of the leaders of Israel. And then in chapter 4, through the end of the book, chapters 4 through 7, we see God's plan to overcome sin. So we have exposure of sin or the prophecies against sin in chapters 1 through 3, and then God's plan to overcome sin in chapters 4 through 7. And all of this points to the Messiah. Really, that's the key redemptive text in here. You could say the second half of the book, but to be a little more specific, we see in chapter 5 verse 2 the foretelling of where Jesus would be born. This is a prophecy that's directly mentioned in the New Testament as being fulfilled in Jesus, where it talks about him being born in Bethlehem. But really, the key redemptive text, I would say, is chapter 7, verses 7 through 20, where it clearly and definitively shows that salvation, light, only comes from Yahweh, that God is the true source and the only source for truth, light, and salvation. And so this book is one of the easier books in the Old Testament to take people to and show them the glories of the gospel, the glories of redemption. I pray that your reading of this book is encouraging today. I pray you'll continue working with us as we go through this entire section. We're about halfway through the books of the Bible now, and I pray it's been an encouragement to you. I love you, Grace Community. I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to the Grace Today vlog. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church in Elgin, Texas, or how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.